guys, it's Lainey. So today I have a pretty exciting video. Um, this is um, a hamster related video unlike my last two or three videos. So today is a hamster related video. We are going to be cleaning Taco and Hashi's cage and I'm going to be showing you how I clean my hamster cages instead of just doing a time lapse. We're going to make it fun. So, yeah, and as you can see, their cages are a mess. Actually, I don't know if you can see them. Um, yeah, but their bedding's dirty. Uh, their wheel is disgusting. So we're going to be cleaning it today. And, yes, I'm actually really excited because for some reason I love cleaning cages. There's so much background noise. Anyway, so, yeah, I think we're going to start off with Taco's cage. I may have to take a break and go walk a dog. Um... But then we're going to do Hashi's Cage, and I think we'll be able to get it all done today. Um, I might just have to film more tomorrow or something, but yeah. We're going to go ahead and get started cleaning the hamster cages. I hate waking my hamster up, but I will just put him in a little travel cage, and he can just go back to sleep there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll show you what travel cage I'm using. I'm just using this little critter carrier thing. Um, so yeah, and it's really small for a Syrian. But all he's going to be doing in here is sleeping anyway. Possibly trying to get out. So we're going to go ahead and get him up and into this. There he is in the little carrier. Hi, Hashi. So now that I have Hashi in his carrier, I just remove everything, like everything. So now I just take this top part off of this thing right here. Oh geez. I'm removing the shelf for now so that I can get everything nice and cleaned out. I'm removing the shelf out so that it's easier to get out this bedding. Here's the tray. I'm trying to decide whether I should put the tray in this time or not. I don't think I'm going to. So next step is to scoop all this out with this um, brush and dust pan and put it into a trash bag. Alright, so that's all finished. Now we're going to add some bedding to it. I'll show you what bedding I have. Um, Hashi, I'm going to be using some natural KT Clean and Cozy. Um, I got this from Adopting Bagel. Okay, I gotta clean out his wheel. And I usually don't clean out the toys that I keep in their cage, because that's another thing, sorry. Oh my gosh. So I've gotta clean out his wheel, because I mean, obviously it's disgusting. Um, but normally, I don't clean the toys that are staying in their cage, because it takes away the smell from them, and I did not save any bedding from their previous cage. Now, 
going to put it back in there. Okay, wait, that's not supposed to happen. Pretty sure it's supposed to go like this. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to put it in a different place this time. Now we're going to, let's see, let's add a puzzle playground. Okay, so I have sand now, and I'm going to fill up the sand bath. Okay, so I need to put Hashi back in his cage now. Okay, here we go, Hashi. Are you ready? Hi, buddy. It's morning, and and now I'm going to be repeating the steps that I did with Hashi's cage and Taka's cage, but I'm actually just going to be putting this in time lapse since I kind of already showed you guys. Um, So we have our little taco. I don't know if you can see him right here. And we're going to put him in his cage. So let's do that. Do to put in chew sticks. So make sure you put in chew sticks. Because so, that's very important. Um, here, let me go get you guys. I'll bring you guys closer. He's about to be able to get out on his own. Oh no. He got out. He got out. No. Um, let me shut his cage. Here. Here, buddy. Go on out. Go on out, bud. 
Okay, got it. Okay, now he can explore, or he can just hide behind this wheel. Here he is. I'm trying to get the cage shut. Oh, I forgot to feed him. I'll do that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like this video. Comment down below new video ideas. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post another video. Bye, guys.